channel so i forgot to film my intro so here i am a day later filming the intro on my phone so excuse me but as you guys can tell from the title of this video we are going to be recreating maddie's iconic euphoria looks i did a little bit of research and found the makeup artist i will have their socials listed down below as well as soon as i started watching the show i instantly became obsessed with all of the makeup looks so i'm thinking about doing like a makeup series where i do different characters i don't know let me know in the comments down below but i had so much fun filming this look i feel like the makeup artists definitely deserve as much as recognition as every Everybody else there's a lot of you know talent and artwork that goes behind it this is definitely a little bit different than my vibe I as you guys know I do more like cut creases and half cut creases and stuff this is more editorial and I had so much fun filming this video because it, it's all about creativity and just playing around and being messy and it's it ended up looking so freaking good so I just cannot wait until you guys see this video um, I ended up loving it and I hope you guys love it as well. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications somewhere right there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first look that we're going to do is the wet cherry look. And I am looking at Kristen's Instagram and this is like a very soft, very natural, effortless makeup. It's not like super like contoured sharp um, makeup, which I love. It looks super effortless. So she did winged liner really like natural lashes. She has like a smoky lower lash line going on, the red glitter lips and the cherry. By the looks of it, it doesn't, it doesn't even look like she's wearing makeup. Um, so I'm gonna try to attempt it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I also see that she has half up, half down. So that's the hair that I did. And then she has like some gold earrings. So I just put on these gold hoops. All right, so for her eyebrows, she literally doesn't do anything to her eyebrows. I'm pretty sure just like gel. So I'm just going to be combing my eyebrows and I'm going to comb them outward. Now I'm using the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Foundation. It definitely does give you that like natural glow and Maddie's skin always looks dewy and just glowy. So I'm just going to add a tiny teeny bit of concealer because her skin still looks hella flawless. Um, it just doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So I'm looking at the picture and she has a little bit of bronzer she literally doesn't even have that much bronzer so i'm not even going to put any on my brush i'm just going to use whatever's left on there i'm getting a little dry right now <laughs> oh my god this impression it literally looks like i have no makeup on this is so weird we're gonna go ahead and do the eyeliner so i'm just gonna use this bobby brown black gel liner she has matte eyeliner so that's what i'm gonna try to do I don't know why I feel like I look so weird. Maybe just because I'm not used to just having like super just neutral makeup. But um, I went ahead and I applied some lashes. These are Lily Lashes in Miami, I believe. And I'm going to go ahead and do that black line underneath. Next thing I'm gonna do is add some red lipstick just so I don't look weird. And I am using this one by Lime Crime. You know what's crazy is that I never, ever, ever use lipstick. I always use liquid lipstick. I don't know why. This one is really nice though. She also has some glitter on her lips, so I'm just going to be using this from the Makeup Shack. It's like their glitter shadows. That was perfect. I never do anything like graphic on my face, so I'm very nervous for the cherry. Oh, look. Okay, let me try to use a different liner. Oh, ah, ah, I did it. And she also did like just a little teensy tiny dot. 
I used the Wet n Wild Skull Prayer liquid liner. And then now it's time to do the stem. The stem is what I'm really, really nervous about. Okay, so for the stem, I'm using this LA Girl Neon Liner. This is the green one. I'm using this detailed brush and I'm trying to get as much product as I can on there. And I'm gonna attempt to draw the little... What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Dang it, this isn't as pigmented as I wish it was. Okay, so I found this green Lime Crime lipstick and I'm going to be using the tiniest bit to just try and intensify it. Oh, perfect, yes, yes! Come through, Lime Crime. That's probably as best as this little teeny tiny cherry is going to get. It looks cute, I fuck with it. All right guys, so this is the wet cherry look. Obviously Kristen did a way better job than I did, but I actually really like it. I think the cherry is so freaking cute. Like I've never thought about just adding something so simple as like a cherry it would make me so happy. I don't know, I love it. I really fucking love this look. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next look, which is this one on this eye. And this one I saw on Donnie.Davies Instagram. And it's pretty much like some mauve pink liner. And then I see a little bit of iridescence. I can't really zoom in on the picture, but I do, I do see like light pink iridescence. And then she, I placed the jewels exactly where she did. And she just has some clear gloss and that's pretty much it. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look. So all I did was I grabbed a angled brush and I'm going into my little pony palette from ColourPop and I'm going to be dipping into both of these colors right here. So just do the eyeliner how you would normally do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into um, the creamsicle color from ColourPop and I'm gonna just be using my finger And I'm going to be adding that all over my lid So I'm grabbing that brush and I'm just going over the entire lid. I'm going into the Sephora times Pantone universe palette This palette is so old. I got it when I first started doing makeup. My ex actually got me this palette. <gasps> Oh god, if you guys remember, you remember. I'm just grabbing a small detail brush and I'm going under the lower lash line. I don't see that she added too much. So I'm just going very lightly with that. I swear this makeup looks so weird until you add like the lashes and the jewels, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and add the jewels. I'm just going to replicate the exact same thing as the picture. Oh my god! I freaking love these little jewels. And that completes this look. It looks so freaking pretty. You know, just trying the jewels on my eyebrows, like I feel so fucking cute. Like I just love it. So I went ahead and I just added a little bit more of a nude gloss and I fucking love it. Looks so fucking good. All right, so this completes this look. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So my dumbass, I thought I was already recording, but I wasn't. However, all I did was I took off my lashes and I had to apply a little bit of foundation over the lips because the red lipstick did stain them. This is the next look that we're creating and I went ahead and I lined my lips with this NYX Suede Liner in Sandstorm. And it looks like she just has like a darker lip liner and some gloss and her natural lip is like shining through. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add some clear gloss. By the looks of it, it looks like she has just like two shimmery eyeshadows and I found the perfect one. So I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Frog and Rem. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and add that pink one at the top. Oh yes, this is the perfect one. And it's okay if I get some on the eyeliner because I can go over that and correct it. So now with that same brush, I am picking up this periwinkle one. The look is just so stunning, I love it. 
and I'm adding that closer to the bottom lid. So now for the fun part, we are going to be adding the jewels. I went ahead and I picked these up at Michael's. Okay, so it starts like right here. Oh my god, I'm already loving it. So it looks like it's above her crease. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, Shh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Now stay there. Mm. <gasps> this shit is hard. So here it is with lashes, and this looks so fucking sick. I'm literally gagging. Like, this looks so fucking good. Okay, guys, so here is the completed look. I am fucking obsessed with the jewels and just the shimmer and the lips like i love it in the picture she does have like a middle part and all i did was put my hair up wow i fucking love this look like this look is just freaking stunning and it looks so easy but this takes time bitch okay the jewels take me a long time i don't even want to take them off but on to the next look we go <laughs> all right so i am back and in the meantime that i was charging my camera i went ahead and i did this look now i kept the jewels bitch i was like fuck i really do not want to put those jewels on again so all i did was took off the makeup from right there and like fixed the liner she does have nude lips here, so I just went ahead and did a nude lipstick, which is Girl Lactic in the shade Bashful. All I'm going to do is show you guys how I achieved this look, and this definitely has to be my favorite look out of all of them. Why? You guys know, yes, because it's fucking teal. I love teal. I love anything that's close to Tiffany Blue. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the makeup. Um, she does have like really loose waves, and that's what I attempted to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be using the Urban Decay Deep End Liner and go ahead and zoom you guys in. All I'm going to do is grab this pencil and this is going to be the base that we're going to be using. And just with any like small detailed brush, what I'm going to do is just kind of blend out the edges. Make it look way softer and not so harsh. So now I'm grabbing this Caffeine Lights times Color Pop Loose Shimmer in the shade The Bowl. And I have two different ones. I have a darker one and I have a lighter one. This one is in the shade The Fish. Oh, this was I think her Zodiac collection. And I'm going to be adding the darker one on the bottom. We're gonna go in with the fish one, and I'm going to be adding that all over. I'm having so much fucking fun with this. I guess because it's not like a sharp cut crease where everything needs to be crisp and clean and cut and sharp. So you can be as messy as you want with this and it'll still look fucking bomb. Also in the picture, she does have an inner corner so we're gonna have to create a little inner corner moment and then she doesn't drag it all the way in she only goes up to like right here now meanwhile that lash is drying what we're gonna do for the under eye is grab that same pencil and create a line that and then we're gonna grab an angled brush and go into, into, into the fish from ColourPop. Okay, now the only thing that I am going to do is Maddie's always wearing gloss, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this nude gloss. Oh my god, I feel like the gloss just made it look 10 times better. I think this one is by far my favorite for sure. It just looks so fucking good. Like the jewels just make everything so much better. But I literally would go out with this look. Like just out in public and just have a little manny moment. I'm like loving the face makeup. Like I don't know why. Like usually I would be really insecure like not having my eyebrows done. But 
I actually kind of like it. I like that I don't have like harsh blush and bronzer and highlighter. Like it's kind of just my skin doing its own thing. I don't know what it is, but like my confidence is like up to a thousand right now. Kristen, if you're watching this, I hope I make you proud. <laughs> Alright guys, well that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely recreate some of the Euphoria looks. If you haven't watched Euphoria, you can watch it on HBO. I had such an amazing time filming this video. You know what I'm thinking. If you guys want me to recreate any of the other um, characters look like Jules, I would love to do that. So let me know in the comments down below what look was your favorite, what character you want me to recreate. I'm even thinking about doing like a Euphoria makeup series where I just do like every individual character because each one of them is so different and versatile and I fucking love each character. I feel like I can relate to each character in a different way. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely go ahead and check out the makeup artist down below. I will have their socials linked down below. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Didn't I just fucking say that? Oh my god. I'm delusional, okay? It's like 3 in the morning right now. And yeah, I need to take my ass to bed. So, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!